let's solve this 3 by 3 determinant. And what we're going to do is go along the left column here to expand the determinant around. So we're going to take first this 3 and say 3 times whatever leftover the determinant there is. And I'll show you how to get that leftover pretty soon. And then take away the second one, 7, times the leftover determ determinant, which I'll show you, then plus the third one negative 1 times the leftover determinant. Now one thing I want you to be aware of is that the sign when you expand like this always goes the same. You have a positive here, negative or take away here, and an add here. And sometimes you're going to have add and negative which will make it turn into a, a subtraction. Uh, but you always want to go plus minus plus when you're expanding around this left column. Alright, so now to see what pieces we have to put into these leftover 2 by 2 determinants, what we're going to do is cross out the row and the column of each starting number. So here's the 3. Let's cross out the row and the column with the 3, and then you'll see right here is our leftover determinant. So let's put that in. 7, 5, 7, take away 4, or minus 4. Alright, now we're going to do the same thing for the next one. Let's get rid of these lines. And you don't have to erase these lines when you're doing it yourself. I just want to make sure it looks clear what I'm doing here. All right, now we're at this 7, so we're going to get rid of the row and the column that contains it. And then we have 3, 5, 3, minus 4 left. And then we're going to do the same with the last one. Alright, so we're at the minus 1, which is this guy here. So we get rid of the column and the row of the minus 1. And we're left with 3, 7, 3, 7. So we put that in the last position. Now we have to evaluate the 2 by 2 determinants and multiply them by their outside number. So we get 3 times. And multiplying out a 2 by 2, you always go from top left to bottom right and multiply negative 28 take away bottom left to top right 35 alright so you're subtracting the cross multiplies always starting with that position right there next one take away 7 times minus 12 take away and go ahead and put that take away in right away and then you're going to take away whatever this turns out to be 5 times 3 is 15 and then plus a negative 1 is the same as take away 1 times 21 take away 21. Okay, and that's going to give us 3 times negative 63 take away 7 times negative 27 take away, well, 21 minus 21 is 0, so 0. And once you evaluate that out, this whole thing comes out to be a 0. So this 3 by 3 determinant equals 0.